Now at 7, we're continuing to monitor the fight over a homeless camp downtown. Mayor John Cranley says he is now involving the county prosecutor to move tents that occupy 3rd Street. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kristen Hartman. In a statement today, the mayor said, quote, it is unacceptable that individuals and activists continue to illegally camp with tents in the right of way. This presents a clear and present health and safety hazard. He goes on to say, I also asked for and have obtained the assistance of Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters. The mayor plans to file actions and motions in state and federal court. That statement from the mayor came on a day when the 3rd Street camp was supposed to have been shut down, but it wasn't because of a lawsuit filed in federal court. The Greater Cincinnati Homeless Coalition is questioning the city's use of trespass laws to move people from public spaces. Until that's decided, homeless camps on 3rd Street and between Fort Washington Way and One Lytle Place will remain. Joe Phillips' name is on the lawsuit. He's conv a convicted felon who can't find permanent housing. He's tried the temporary shelters, but they're filled to capacity every night, he says. There were so many people in the shelter that, not to say that I, I was unimportant, but they just didn't have the staff to, you know, to take the time out and cater to my specific needs. People have the right to choose where they move and how they move. People have a right to lay their head. People have a right to seek privacy. And that's what folks are doing. The law has to be obeyed. Uh, we, we can't ignore that. Uh, if someone insists on saying, well, I want to live outside and I want to stay right here, now you got to enforce the law. Lots of differing viewpoints on a difficult problem that continually does not have an easy solution. And while the Cincinnati Homeless Coalition challenges the city in a federal lawsuit, Maslow's army remains constant in its mission to help people who are experiencing homelessness. Nine on your side, Brianna Harper joins us live with their efforts in hopes of getting people off the streets for good. Brianna. Well, Kristen, for hours today, Maslow's Army set up a tent different from the ones you see lining Third Street here and said it was a tent offering help and resources for those who have nowhere else to go. Now, Maslow's Army says homelessness is a situation and it doesn't define a person. For dozens of people who are left to call Third Street home, Maslow's Army is hoping this isn't the case forever. Instead, they're offering resources like shelters, alcohol and drug detox centers, and a means to get a job in hopes that those currently experiencing homelessness can become productive members of society. But Maslow's Army admits their mission does come with some obstacles. Honestly, we need more mental health agencies, more resources, more beds. Um, I think really that's what it comes down to. Now already some people who had previously lived in tents here along 3rd Street were able to be placed into a shelter thanks to the help of Maslow's Army. At last check, we're told at least 10 beds are currently available at the City Gospel Mission. Reporting downtown, Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.